New numbers tonight involving the opioid crisis in Hampton Roads. The Virginia Department of Health says that overdoses are down. But the Virginia Attorney General, Mark Herring, says just because we're seeing progress, it doesn't mean it's time to decrease the efforts to get drugs off the streets. Tonight on your side, Deanna Bettineschi joins us in the newsroom with more. Deanna. Well, according to the numbers from the Virginia Department of Health, six out of seven Hampton Roads cities saw a decline in opioid deaths. Positive news. Attorney General Mark Herring says there's a glimmer of hope in the opioid overdose crisis in Hampton Roads. It is encouraging that some of the numbers in Hampton Roads are moving in the right direction. According to the Virginia Department of Health, in 2016, there were 278 overdose deaths from opioids in Hampton Roads. Preliminary data for 2017 shows that number went down to 230. The only city that had overdose deaths go up was Portsmouth. Herring says even though the numbers showed progress. I do want to be cautious about that because it is still very much a crisis. Herring says there's still so much that needs to be done to continue to fight against the opioid epidemic. We need to continue our efforts to go after the dealers and traffickers who bring heroin into Virginia. He says the stigma around addiction also needs to be removed. It can be a sports injury, an auto accident, uh, you know, a, a, a surgery where legitimate prescriptions for pain are prescribed and soon the patient develops an, an addiction. Herring says these powerful drugs are tearing families apart. An education on how dangerous and powerful they really are needs to be a priority. And he says ways you can help the opioid epidemic, make sure you dispose of any unused medication properly. Deanna Betaneshi, 10 on your side.